Here is how I fix my low GPU usage and get maximum FPS and stability. Many players struggle because their graphics card never reaches full power and the performance feels weak. In this guide, I will show you a simple and easy way to fix low GPU usage and unlock the true potential of your system. Let's dive in. In the first step, guys, open the search bar and type choose power plan and select it. The power options window will appear and most of the time you will notice your PC is set to balanced mode. Balanced mode automatically cuts down GPU and CPU performance whenever Windows thinks full, minute, full power is not needed. But when you are gaming with a weak GPU, this limitation causes the graphics card to stay underused which directly lowers your FPS. Switch this immediately to high performance mode because it ensures your system always gives priority to raw power. If you wanna push it even further, open Windows PowerShell as administrator and paste this command. This unlocks the hidden ultimate performance mode. Go back to the power options window and select it. With this mode, Windows stops applying power saving features on your GPU. That means even a weak graphics card can now run at 100% usage instead of being forced to stay low. Now guys, open the run dialog again, type regedit and press enter. Inside registry editor, carefully navigate to this location. Copy this exact path from the video description and paste it here, then press enter. Once you are here, right click on the right side, select new, doored, 32-bit, value, and name it HWS mode. Double click it and set the value data to two. What this does is force hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on your system, even if the option is not available inside your normal window settings. On a low GPU system, sometimes Windows doesn't allow this feature by default, but through registry editing, we are manually enabling it. Hardware scheduling reduces the CPU's role in graphics management and directly gives the GPU more control. When your GPU was previously stuck at low usage, this tweak helps it finally start using more of its potential, resulting in higher and steadier usage. Now guys, the next step, once task manager by right clicking on your taskbar. Once it open, head over to the details tab at the top. In this list, you'll see every process that's currently running on your system. Look for your game's process, right click on it, hover over set priority, and then select high. By default, Windows tries to balance resources evenly across all apps, but that can sometimes hold back your game, especially if you have a lower end GPU or CPU. In those cases, Windows might spread resources across unnecessary background tasks, leaving your game starved and making GPU usage appear lower than it actually could be. By setting the process priority to high, you're making sure the game and your, your graphics card are always put first in line for performance. So whenever the system is under load, your game won't have to fight with other apps to get the resources it needs. Now guys, open the settings panel by clicking on the start menu. Once you open the settings, go to gaming. First click on Xbox game bar and turn it completely off. Many people don't realize that this bar keeps running hidden overlays that drain GPU resources. After that, enable game mode. This might sound like a simple toggle, but what it actually does is prioritize your game processes above everything else happening in the background. Next, go into graphic settings. This section is very important for a low GPU. First, turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. What this does is reduce latency by letting the GPU manage its own memory and tasks directly instead of passing them through Windows first. 
This is especially useful if your CPU is not very strong either. Next, scroll down to Graphics Performance Preference, click Browse, and add your main game or launcher. Once added, select it, click Options, and set it to High Performance. By doing this, you are telling Windows to always run that game using the full power of your dedicated GPU instead of wasting cycles on integrated graphics or balanced power modes. Now guys, open your NVIDIA control panel and wait for its fully load. Once it opens, look at the left side and click on Manage 3D Settings. This section is the most important because here you will tell your GPU exactly how it should behave during gaming. First, under the Global Settings tab, scroll until you find Power Management Mode. By default, this is set to Adaptive or Optimal Power. These two modes automatically reduce GPU clocks when the system thinks it does not need full performance. That is the main reason why your GPU stays at low usage, like 40% or 50% even when you are inside a heavy game. Change the setting to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to always stay at its highest performance state whenever a game is running. With this change alone, your GPU will stop downclocking and start using a higher percentage of its power. Next, find the option Low Latency Mode. Set it to Ultra. What this does is reduce the number of frames the CPU pre-renders before sending them to the GPU. On a low GPU usage system, the CPU often keeps extra frames in the queue, which makes the GPU wait idle. By switching to Ultra, the GPU starts receiving frames faster, which increases its workload and pushes the usage higher. After that, scroll down to Vertical Sync VSync and turn it off. When VSync is on, the GPU is forced to lock its frame a short output to match the monitor refresh rate. This artificially lowers GPU usage because the card stops rendering more frames once the refresh rate limit is reached. By turning VSync off, you allow the GPU to work freely at its maximum capacity. Now go a little further down and find Threaded Optimization. Make sure it is set to on. This option allows the GPU to use multiple CPU threads to feed itself data. If it is off, the GPU receives data more slowly, which again results in low GPU usage. With it enabled, your GPU gets a steady stream of work and does not stay idle. Finally, apply these changes. After that, move to the Program Settings tab at the top. Here you can add your main game manually by clicking Add, selecting the game's .exe file, and then applying the same settings we just configured. Power Management Mode on Maximum, Low Latency Mode Ultra, VSync Off, and Threaded Optimization On. This ensures that even if Windows tries to override global settings, your specific game will always run on maximum GPU usage mode. Once you have applied these settings, your GPU will no longer sit idle at low usage. Instead, it will be forced to push more power into your games, resulting in higher frame rates and smoother gameplay. So that's how you can fix low GPU usage and make your games run smoother than before. Apply these steps carefully and you'll notice your FPS and stability pre improving right away. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.